Welcome everyone, back to The Last of Us Remastered, uh, where we left off, uh, it was winter, and we, Ellie and Joel were in a pickle, uh, Ellie had to fight this guy named David, and Joel was out for the count because he got stabbed from falling on a piece of rebar, I think, but yeah, that's what happened, Ellie's kind of traumatized, I think. She seems at not herself. So, hopefully we can fix that. Forgive us. Jeez. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, but there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. Hmm, interesting. I've been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. Dreams are weird. And I, I love this game. It just looks so good. Hope you guys are still enjoying it. I think we're going to a hospital hey, now. Yep. Another city. Another over there. Abandoned quarantine zone. Up we go. There's a yeah. hospital the firefly mentioned. Come on, kiddo. Maybe we cut through here, huh? Imagine after having to be queued up and then a horde of the runners just come in. Well, we could that would use suck. That ladder. Here we go. Ellie. Ellie. What? The ladder. Come on. Right. Come on, girl. She's run off again. You gotta see this. What is it? But we gotta see Ellie. What the hell is it? Are you kidding me? Oh, a giraffe. Look at that. Shh, don't scare it. I won't, I won't. What are you doing? It's all right. Come here, come here. Okay. Hurry up, come on. Come on. Hey there. <laughs> I fed a giraffe once. Their tongues are very weird. 
up to. Here, come on, let's go. S slow down, kiddo. <laughs> I like that the relationship has grown. Oh, man. Like Joel isn't as uh, hard or like as uh, gruff to her. So, is everything you were hoping for? ups and downs, but you can't deny the view, though. No, you cannot. It's such a peaceful moment in this game. It's our only peaceful moment we've actually had. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. There the drafts go. Look, I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. No, oh, that's sweet. I'm glad that they want to stick together. I apologize if I sound nasally. I'm a little stuffy this morning. This game is just so pretty. Well, this place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you looked, you just saw families torn apart. The whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Joel. No, that, that's sweet. I'm, it's nice to see that they're actually talking about it now. Where before he was just kind of like, hey, leave it alone. But, no. They're actually communicating and talking about the past and getting closer together. Yes. And some more pills. Now we can upgrade our weapons more. Itch my ear. Speaking of upgrading weapons, I see a workbench. Quarantine plus station. 
Okay. Time to go to work. Actually, I'm gonna upgrade the bow. I like the bow a lot better. And maybe we'll do the reload speed on this. It reloads kind of slow. This will do just fine. Yeah. All right. Onward, Ellie. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. Okay. What you got, girl? Here. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. Aw. That's nice. Well, no matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. Thank you. That's very sweet of her. Savage Starlight. Oh, arrows there. You know what I never found, and I'm very upset that I didn't find it. This time it's gonna be different. I just know it. What do you mean? They're gonna be there. The fireflies. I'm sure of it. I didn't find Ellie's joke book. Which kind of sucks, because she tells some really corny jokes that are pretty funny. <laughs> Looks like they're gearing me up for something. Oh man, I hear them. Oh, and there's a bloater. Oh, man. Okay, we're, we're good there. Gotta go that way. Sneak past them. Stealth Masters. Oh, damn. That's a lot more. Oh, my God. There's so many men here. No, let's just keep at it. Oh, no, I'm Max. Can we make anything? Ooh, we can upgrade our healing speed. Okay. A shiv for you.
a shiv for you. And a shiv for you. Yeah. Everything's I have everything reloaded. Oh, goodness. Sorry, I had to itch my eye. My goodness. him. Oh. Got that one. Well, they heard it. I was holding my breath for that whole time. Hopefully we get past. Come on, Ellie. Well, try not to be loud. It's awfully loud. My goodness. That was scary. That was a lot of a lot of infected. I don't think they can reach us now. Okay. Look at the fish. Watch your step. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's what we can do once we're done. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. You got it. <laughs> I'm on the other side. Cool. All right, hold up. Oh. 
wonder if, like, submerging your like self in water a lot, like with a bow, is bad for the string. Like, I'm sure like a like a little bit of water is fine, but like you don't. I don't. I wouldn't say you want to. You would want to soak your bowstring in water or the wooden, the, the wood, uh, main bow part itself because it would swell with water. I don't know. I've never had wooden bow. bow. And another jam door. All right. Give me a foot. Okay. If you, if you, if you know about the bow, um, let me know in the comments. So I'm actually curious to know. Got it. Yeah. They just surprised me. Man, I can't wait for those things to be wiped out. Another workbench. Let's craft some shivs. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing that. Yeah, this is good. That gun can use it. Which is, it doesn't make sense because this gun is a revolver and it should hold six, but it holds two now. I guess it's to balance it. I'm gonna assume I need you, get, I need you over there. can't speak today. I keep stuttering my words. I kind of remember this part. Because it took me forever when I first played this game. Splinter cell now. Shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. Ah, a pallet. I'm not allowed to stay on the pallet. All right. Get on. Okay. Okay, there. Come on. It. Be careful. I got you. Come on, Ellie. Get that ladder down. I think this is my favorite, like... Is, is it a trope? Is that the right word? Like the, uh... Like the adopted... Father-daughter relationship. I think that's my favorite trope. Ladder broke off the wall. Now what? I'll figure something out. Cause like we have Joel and Ellie for that, and then we have, or 
Well, maybe not just adopt a daughter, but like adopt a child. Um, because we have like the Mandalorian. Shoot, I had to grab the ladder. We have like the Mandalorian and Grogu, and then we have uh, Joel and Ellie, and then Pedro Pascal is both of those. He's the, he's man, the Mandalor in the Mandalorian. He's you know Mando, and then he's uh, Joel in the Last of Us series. It's pretty cool, but I like I like the trope. I think it's it's cool. I think probably the reason I like it is because, like, they, like, especially with Ellie and Joel, they did not like each other in the beginning, but now it's, like, right, like, at this moment in time right now, like, if you were to separate them, like, I feel like Joel wouldn't, or Ellie wouldn't even have it, they'd both be upset. It's like, what would you, what'd you do with my, not real dad, but my dad, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if Ellie canonically considers Joel like her father. Okay. Come on, jump. But at least a a figure that she can look up to. I'm sure she consider considers him that way. Let's get the hell off this thing. I don't know. I'm rambling. Rambling on. Go, Ellie, go. Come on, Joel, climb. Climb, Joel, climb. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This is dangerous. Oh shoot, Ellie, what are you doing? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Gotta get Ellie. I'm coming, girl. Swim, Joel, swim. panic he had to have been feeling. Welcome to the Fireflies. Could have told your boys who I was. They didn't know who you were. I'm Ellie. It's all right. They brought her back. You came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> She fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. I lost most of my crew across in the country. I pretty much lost everything. 
And then you show up, and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. What do you mean? Excuse surgery? me? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where- Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me, or even her. There is no other choice here. I mean, yeah, there is. Because you can't make a vaccine for a fungal infection. You can make antibiotics. Yeah, you but, but not a, not a vaccine. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joe. Nah, lady. You've messed with the wrong man. You have messed with the wrong man. I said get up. Cause I feel like what's going through Joel's head right now is like he's not he's not gonna lose another daughter. Because that's that's what Joel considers Ellie. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. Yes. Hell yes. I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. that out right I think upgrading the bow was the play
at four euros. Come on, go check it out. Making this difficult for me. Two down. Ooh. Already have an assault rifle. Let's go. Over which way? Ooh, almost saw me.
man down! Shit! Fight him! <laughs> oh. You got any surprises for me? Possibly. Dummies. So, sorry I wasn't talking, I was very focused. Gotcha. Can you give me? Sorry, I get really focused when I'm doing stealth stuff. And I wanted to get it right that time. You know, we've been failing on some of the stealth stuff. April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history, equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. But if you're if if you're an actual man of science, you would know that you cannot make any form of a vaccine for a fungal infection. April twenty eighth. I just finished speaking. <laughs> More like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently, there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. She didn't even say her name. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. I just want this to end. So be it. That was so like insensitive. Like she she doesn't she didn't care what happened to Ellie. She she doesn't, seems like. 
she because she didn't even say her name. Like, I don't know. That just seems wrong to me. They're gearing me up. It's awesome. A lot of crafting materials. Can't make any more of those though. We're coming for you, Ellie. Don't you worry. Come through the door. Come on. Behind you. Come on, you coward. Oh, no, 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 coward. Strategic. Planning and waiting. Well, what you got? Anything? I'll search out here. You guys, I'll check over there. I don't like this. You guys are going to stay grouped up. Thank you for uh, doing exactly what I needed you to do. Think of all the lives we'll save. No! That was a little overkill, but uh, can't risk it. We got you, Ellie.
said get back! We got you, Ellie. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. I don't, I don't know. Did you ask her? And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Even if they did, like, go through with the surgery and everything, how are they going to make the vaccine? They have no equipment to mass produce it, even if there was a vaccine. What the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? Found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. I ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... St they've stopped looking for a cure. Taking us home. I'm sorry. Not wrong. Shot through here. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, I just realized we're playing as Ellie. Yeah. Alright. Now watch your head going through. Here. I got it. Feeling my age now. <laughs> A squirrel! I don't think I ever told you, but, uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked it. I bet I would have. She sounds so somber. Why she went like that? So cool. 
little bit further now. It's so cool to see a community like thriving. Even in this world. in Boston back when I was bitten I wasn't alone my best friend was there and she got bit too we didn't know what to do so she says let's just wait it out you know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. What a game. That was so good. Man, that was such a good game. Very much worth re replaying. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, it was it was so good again. I know it's not the, uh, the part one that looks phenomenal, but the remaster does its job. It still looks great. I, I really hope you all enjoyed this. I really do. Uh, I can, if you guys want to see it, uh, I can play the Left Behind DLC. Um, it's short, so it'll probably be, um, probably be uh, only like one or two episodes. Uh, most likely one though. But that that would be good to play. And then after that, I can pl I will I will be playing um, the Last of Us Part Two because that is a that is my favorite game of all time. I absolutely love that game. Uh, it it holds a special place in my heart. I know that that game gets a lot of bad rep, but it, it's good to me. I, I'm I'm glad Joel didn't leave Ellie, and you know he saved her, even if he lied. I'm gonna leave this here though. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. A dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.